hope you guys saw that. That was a, a practical real world demonstration of the safety crap that they're putting in many new cars. This Chrysler 300 is by no means unique. Uh, a number of new cars have it. It's a uh, uh, an automated braking slash collision avoidance system and it comes on peremptorily for safety. If you get within, I don't know, 30 yards <laughs> Of the car in front of you. It's unfreaking believable how nannyish it is. Uh, several times uh, I've been driving along and a car up ahead of me is about to turn off, as a for example. And I know the guy's not going to be there by the time I get to where he is, so of course I don't brake for safety. And the freaking thing goes nuts, ballistic beepers, bumpers, and flashing lights in the dashboard. So I just got the thing to trigger now by threading the needle a little bit in traffic. And it literally, not only does it hit you with that obnoxious uh, shrieking buzzer and that frantic light display in the dashboard, uh, it also pumps the brakes and kills the throttle, which really screws up your ability to safely execute a pass, a thread the, the needle maneuver. It's enraging. Uh, and the worst part is they're they're putting this garbage into all the new cars, and um, I think it's on deck to be made mandatory uh, within about three years for safety. Something has got to give. The safety cult has got to be stomped. It's the biggest threat to civilization since communism, since Nazism. It's worse than all of them. It's suffocating. It's the same sort of control freak tyranny, except as C.S. Lewis said, I think it is, uh, exercised for our own good to keep us safe. Ah, oh, makes me want to hit things. Anyway, I'll have more up at epautos.com. Thanks for viewing, and we'll catch up with you again soon.